Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to be doing a shootout on three iconic pre-charged pneumatic air pistols. Now, two of these air pistols I've reviewed here on the channel. One of them basically started this channel, and the third one is going to be a wild card. But don't let that take away from any one of these air guns. I'm going to give you a quick sort of taste of which ones we're going to be testing out and then we'll take it inside where I'll break down the specs on these air guns and then we'll bring it back outside for some testing. First up is going to be the Onyx Sport PP700SA. Now that's a fancy name but this basically has been renamed in a bunch of different names mostly Artemis air guns. This is a single shot. It has a caulking lever hammer design and um, just a neat little air gun did a review on this a while back this one no stranger to the channel the benjamin marauder pistol this air gun basically started this channel and it's been featured in a bunch of different videos and the wild card is going to be the diana bandit in 22 caliber all these guns are 22 caliber and for the sake of this shootout, we're going to be using Crossman Premier Hollow Points. They are 14.3 grain. That's going to be the benchmark with this pellet. So without further ado, let's cut away. We'll do a quick specs rundown, and then we'll bring it back outside here for some testing. For the first test, we're going to do a crony test, and I'm going to shoot a seven shot string. The reason for that is the Bandit only has a seven round rotary magazine. So first up is going to be the PP700. PP700. Next one is going to be the Benjamin Marauder pistol. Next up is the Diana Bandit. We're going to attempt to do a decibel reading on 
these air guns. This is the PP700 without a moderator on it. the air gun. And now we're going to do seven shots with the Marauder pistol. Next up is the Diana Bandit. Now this has a moderator on there, so it should be pretty substantial uh, difference. We're gonna do a shot count test First up is the PP700. Manufacturer says that we get about 20 shots with this. I just charged up the cylinder. We got a full tank of gas. Let's test it out. All right, that was 20 shots and we still got, still got quite a bit of air. Not bad. We have the P-Rod charged up, ready to go. Let's see how many shots we can get out of this. Now we have a full tank of gas, just to verify, we'll shoot at the top of the target. All right, I'm on the second mag of eight on the P-Rod. Well, there's 16, and we're at about 2,000 PSI. Let's try one more mag, see where we get. All right, we're on the third mag on the P-Rod. So 24 shots. We're down to about, let's see if we can pick it up, roughly about 1,550 or 1,600. That would probably be the absolute minimum I would go with that. Next up is the Diana Bandit. Let's get the party started, folks. Now, there was no data I could find on this one for max shot count. But we'll do the same thing. We'll run three mags through it and see where we're at. Second mag with the Diana Bandit. Let's see where we're at in gas. We may get one more if we're lucky. Let's try it. All right, we got the third magazine. All right, there's 21 shots. And so you can see we're right at the limit. So I think 21 shots is probably the max we're gonna be able to take per fill with the Bandit. First up, we're going to do a seven shot string. We're at 15 yards. I'm shooting off a bench with the PP700. Next up is the Benjamin Marauder pistol. Diana Bandit. So not too bad. The PP700, 15 yards, pretty good group. The Marauder had a little bit of a spread, but I think that was more me than the Marauder. It's proven itself over the years hunting. 
this is definitely a tack driver. And I usually run a scope on there, a three by nine scope. This is the first time I've run a red dot on there in a very long time. And then the bandit, I need to dial in the uh, red dot just a little bit to bring it right on zero, but really good group right there. All three of these air guns, I think for hunting would do very well. Now for some final thoughts. This has been a really fun test to do, and it really lets you know how these air guns size up against each other. So let's break it down. Pros and cons of each one. PP700. It's single shot, but it's regulated. Doesn't have a moderator, so I had to put a moderator on there to quiet it down because it's really loud. But as we proved with consistency shooting at 15 yards, this thing is a tack driver. So there's definitely some promise here with the PP700. Now, the Marauder. This has been clearly the workhorse of the channel for a lot of years. And it's performed. I mean, I've taken this out in the woods many a times, hunting, plinking, just having fun with it. And it's been just really consistent. I like the fact that it has an eight shot rotary mag. I also like the fact that it has a foster fitting on the front. I think all air guns should come with a foster fitting and just make it universal. It's time folks, do away with the probes. Because if you're like me, you get out in the woods, you're going to drop it, you're going to get dirt and debris in your air system, and it's just not going to be good. But the only thing lacking on this air gun is a regulator. And for the price range that Crossman wants for these air guns, in the high $300 range, nowadays, it should come standard with a regulator on there. Just my humble opinion. The rail, 11 millimeter rail, I think it's time to go with a standard Weaver Picatinny mount rail on these Marauders. It's time now, folks. It's time to church it up a little bit. Now, let's talk about the Bandit. Has a moderator, seven shot rotary magazine, but the breech is really small, so you're limited as far as optics, what you're gonna put on there. If you're putting on a scope, you got to be real careful what type of scope you put on there because you don't have a lot of wiggle room on here. Now, on the forums, a lot of folks are breaking the bolts off. They're getting crazy. I didn't find that I had to gorilla the bolt on this. It was really smooth, but some folks out there are just hard use. Now, this is another one that takes a fill probe, and you guys know how I feel about fill probes. I'm not a big fan of that but great looking air gun all right folks the time has come for me to pick what i thought was the winner of this shootout now it was hard i love all three of these pellet guns and they all have a unique characteristic behind it but i have to look at the track record of each one and base my opinion on that with that I have to go with the Benjamin Marauder pistol. I mean, this gun has been a reliable air gun in my arsenal, gosh, for a very long time. Shot count is there. Consistency is there. Yeah, it doesn't have a regulator, so we have a little bit of that bell curve. But once you learn this air gun, it is a fun air gun to shoot also. Foster fitting, no probe. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of probes. I wish the air gun industry would all go with a standard on that. The breech is just beautiful. I just wish they'd do the Picatinny rail on there. But, I mean, that's not a deal breaker. So, with shot count, somewhere around 24 shots, 8-round rotary mag, it's just a pleasure to shoot. This is what I feel is my pick in the shootout. I want to hear from you. List in the comments below what your pick was for the winner of this shootout, in your opinion. 
Now remember, there's no wrong answer. That's why we like all these different air guns. There's unique characteristics that are gonna work for each individual. But I'm just curious what your thoughts are on each one and why you would pick the winner. So with that folks, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care folks.